Please introduce yourself. I'm Alok Saklani. I head the uh, APJ School of Management, which is uh, one of the 15 uh, higher education institutions under the APJ Education Society. Uh, I have been uh, associated with uh, the society now for the uh, last 10 years. Uh, prior to this, uh, I, I used to work as a professor and dean at the uh, uh, Central University in Uttarakhand called the Garhwal Central University. Um, okay. What is the story of your institution's brand? I'll talk about the society, right? Uh, well, uh, the APG Education Society was set up about uh, 50 years ago by uh, a very pious, humble, noble soul called uh, Dr. Satya Paul. Uh, Dr. Paul started uh, with a school in uh, Jalandhar and uh, gradually uh, the, uh, the one, the single school um, multiplied into uh, numerous schools and today we have something like uh, 15 uh, schools. Somewhere, uh, somewhere in the next uh, uh, five, ten years, um, we also decided as a society to uh, enter into higher education and uh, we set up the APG College of Fine Arts in Jalandhar and uh, thereafter there have been uh, several colleges set up in, uh, in five states. So we have uh, institutions in uh, Mumbai, uh, Delhi, Punjab, Haryana and UP. Um, the uh, uh, the uh, group uh, believes in uh, uh, going steady uh, and slow, uh, or rather steady and gradual, uh, and not uh, multiplying uh, very fast in numbers, as we know that if you spread fast, you spread thin, right? What are your growth plans? As I just said, uh, you know that we don't believe in. Uh, an increasing number of institutions uh, uh, very fast, very rapidly. Uh, even though steadily we do that, uh, like uh, three years ago we set up the APJ uh, Satya University as well in Gurgaon. Uh, so uh, the growth plans are, are very much there, but uh, the idea is to consolidate, ensure that uh, uh, we deliver uh, the best of uh, uh, education uh, to our uh, uh, children in higher secondary schools as well as the higher education colleges. Uh, but surely uh, in, the next, um, in the next few years, we shall be uh, setting up a few more institutions. What are the challenges India must overcome for the future growth of its education industry? Okay. Uh, education is not yet an industry uh, in India. Uh, it's, uh, it's a sector but not yet, not yet recognized uh, and given the status of an industry. Uh, um, but of course, uh, it, it's one of the most uh, important uh, sectors in building the nation, uh, in setting up the foundation for the uh, uh, society. Uh, I believe that uh, while uh, there, are, uh, there are problems uh, in terms of uh, lack of uh, schools, in our uh, remote uh, parts of the country. Uh, we also have uh, the, the issue of uh, uh, scarce and uh, insufficient infrastructure in many other, uh, many other institutions in the towns and villages uh, and, and uh, even in, in, in some cases uh, cities uh, where they have been set. Uh, so the challenges are not only in terms of uh, uh, setting up more institutions, but also uh, providing the right right infrastructure. However, I think uh, the most critical factor in the institutions that have been already set uh, is uh, um, you know ensuring uh, the right education uh, and providing it effectively. In your opinion, how can India make its graduate more employable? Uh, there have been repeated studies by McKinsey, by CII, and, and so many other organizations, which uh, repeatedly have been uh, uh, demonstrating that uh, um, large majority of our engineers, management graduates, etc., are not employable. Uh, I guess uh, you know the uh, the issue runs a bit deep in our society. Uh, our children are not uh, our students are not really 
inclined and oriented towards thinking. And uh, I presume the main reason is that, uh, you know, uh, uh, right at home, uh, we, uh, we have been discouraging over, over generations, uh, discouraging our children from, you know, speaking out, watching their opinion, and uh, we have been uh, consciously keeping them out of uh, family decisions, be it a small purchase of a television or a refrigerator or a car, uh, be it uh, uh, be it uh, a big decision of, of even uh, the child's future career or the child's marriage, uh, they have not been made a part of it. And uh, in the family, when such discussions are taking place, uh, we still uh, have the large number of a large majority of families discouraging children from participating in the discussions. Uh, the often quoted remark is, uh, right? Uh, now, uh, the same strain, actually, why I cited this is that the same strain uh, runs in schools and then permeates into higher education. Uh, in the schools, uh, uh, over, over uh, decades and generations, uh, teachers have not been appreciating uh, uh, students who have uh, raised questions and queries in the classroom. And uh, they used to, you know, uh, look at uh, students who raise questions as trying to be smart. Okay, so uh, children obviously felt discouraged. So when they came to higher education, in, in many in many higher education colleges, you still uh, found a similar behavior among teachers. Now, with this kind of a background, with this kind of a social training, how do we expect the kids to? Uh, to discuss, to think, and to participate in decisions. Right? Uh, this this does lead to uh, a big uh, a big uh, uh, um, uh, flaw in their soft skills, uh, in their ability to uh, work with people, to converse with people, and obviously to lead teams. Right? So these have been found to be major problems uh, with our uh, children. And this is uh, the reason why I guess uh, you know they have been uh, uh, citing uh, these uh, these as the major issues. Apart from apart from um, uh, hard skills, hard skills refer to uh, the uh, the subject related uh, knowledge that the student ought to have attained. For example, a, a mechanical engineer should know how the machines work. Uh, 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 an HR an HR uh, a student uh, should know uh, how people are actually recruited and uh, how you you carry out performance appraisals. But uh, somehow that uh, uh, practical, that appli uh, application orientation is also missing. And I guess we need to uh, work at it uh, uh, through the years to ensure that uh, the hard skills as well as the soft skills get delivered to the students effectively. Being recognized by Grants Academy for excellence in education, how does it feel? It feels good. It feels very nice. Uh, we know that our chairman, uh, former chairman, uh, Dr. Sathya Paul, and our uh, current president, uh, Mrs. Sushma Burlia, who is the uh, daughter of Dr. Sathya Paul and uh, who is uh, well known for her own uh, contribution to society. She was formerly the, uh, the president of the Chamber of Commerce. She has been recognized uh, as uh, as a, um, uh, a very successful entrepreneur by CII, as uh, uh, as also by various institutions and organizations um, in terms of uh, her uh, noted contribution both in industry as well as in uh, academia. So um, you know, um, uh, accepting the the award on behalf of the group. Uh, uh, on, on behalf of our existing president, Ms. Berlia, is a, a great feeling of pleasure. Thank you.